guys welcome back to no catch name it's me ella today is september 2nd it's a wednesday <laughs> i almost said august 2nd i think <laughs> but uh i uh i should be doing a what you're working on video today but i'm not actually working on anything right now i probably will crochet later today it is three o'clock almost <laughs> like a couple minutes still but we've been running around all day doing errands and you know doing just stuff <laughs> uh like our weekend stuff but it's tuesday because i mean wednesday because devin's got a weird work schedule but anyways <laughs> devin loaded up his guitar stuff and took it over to his dad's to play guitar jesse is at my mom's he wanted to go stay with her so i'm just here by myself so i thought i'd film a mail haul because i got a package and i wanted to share it with you guys and uh yeah so i'll do some more crochet later i guess and record about it a different day <laughs> but uh yeah so i got a big old package i was supposed to go um, I think, uh, uh, the August, around the 13th or 14th, around, you know, that week, I was supposed to go and meet up with some other crocheters who, um, were coming into Tennessee to, uh, they were doing, like, a little meetup, and, um, I wasn't able to go because I was, like, at the peak of, uh, the bad part, <laughs> the bad seasoning or whatever you want to call it, bad season of life, where I was super sad. I don't like using the word depressed, <laughs> but I was, like, depressed, and, you know, a lot of things was going on, and, all that jazz. So, uh, but yeah, I don't want to talk about that. But anyways, I was supposed to go and meet up with Wendy, Carla, Becky, and Sandra. <laughs> Three of them have YouTube channels. That, that's Wendy and Carla and Becky. <laughs> Becky is Funny Farm Crochet. Carla is Crochet CJ. And uh, Wendy was the Wendy lady, but I don't think she's made a video in a while. And then Sandra is just a subscriber to all of us. <laughs> and um, she's actually, she's I think she's won one of my giveaways. She's bought bags for me. Um, you know, she's just always in the comments on everybody's videos. But we were all supposed to meet up. And because um, Wendy is moving, was moving down here. She's down here now. Um, she's actually pretty close to me. Well, you know, it's like an hour away. But, you know, still close. <laughs> uh, so Carla came, she flew down to visit. And Becky lives in North Carolina? I always forget. One of the Carolinas. <laughs> um, and Sandra lives in Tennessee. So they just all kind of met up. But I wasn't able to go because I was super sad and depressed and still struggling really hard. So things are better now. But I'm, st I'm still not back to normal. But um, So they sent me a big old box. I still got some stuff in it. <laughs> but and some of the things that were in it are gone. Because some of them were toys for Jesse. There was a, um, a monster truck. Uh you know, what are they called? Hot Wheel <laughs> with some kinetic sand. There was some of those little mystery things that you open up and they have like random toys in them. But he took them with him to his grandma's. But he did love them, by the way. Okay, so I emptied the box mostly, except there's a bunch of gummies in it. So they did add a bunch of these little packs of troll gummies, which Jesse ate some, but some of them are still in there and I gotta put them in his snack box. So this stuff is all laid out. It's an array of stuff for Jesse and for me. And Devin, too, I guess, because he could share the candy. <laughs> but, so, I'm just going to show it all to you, put it back in the box, and then I can take the box and put it all where it goes. <laughs> but, uh, another thing for Jesse was some bubbles. These are three uh, packs of bubbles. They had them wrapped in a big old bag, I guess, in case they leaked or something. I might get them out now. Okay. So, yeah, it's just some bubbles, which is awesome because he loves bubbles. I'm going to leave that out because I have another thing of bubbles for his bubble machine. That I'll put that with there. But he loves playing with bubbles outside. So that's another awesome thing for him. And then they also sent for Jesse some scented crowns. Which is kind of cool. They're called Sendos. And it says bonus. I guess stickers are in there. Or cards or something. I don't know. I haven't opened them. <laughs> but um, I'll be putting these with his pre cake stuff. And he can pick it out and color with these when we're doing his little pre-K stuff. That's awesome. And then these, he was asking for these, but I had already, I'd forgotten them at the house. And we were dropping them off at his grandma's, but he wanted to take these with him. <laughs> Fake mustaches. But they'll be here when he gets home. So he'll, he's excited about those. And these little things, we've had these before, so I know he loves these. And they're, they're chickens. But you put them on your finger and you pull it back, it's stretchy, and then you like let go and it flicks. So there's four of those. <laughs> he was wanting these too. But um, we'll play with those when he comes home. And then, I'm not sure if these are for Jesse or for me because we both enjoy these, but they're Silly Straws with fruit on them. <laughs> so, we'll both use those. Me and Jesse both. Maybe Devin. Let's see. Is that all the little toy things? I think that's everything except the stuff that he took with him. 
And then there was also a Paw Patrol um, bath ball. And it fizzes, you know, because it's a bath fuzz fizz ball. <laughs> and I think it changes colors on the inside. And then let's do the candy. Um, I think, I don't think we took any of the candy out. We ate some of it, but we didn't take it all out. So we ate some of the suckers, but they sent some dum-dums. Some of these little wax uh, sodas with juice in them. Devin ripped into those. Um, they sent some butterscotch, which I love butterscotch, so that's perfect. Some gummies. Dinosaurs, which are open. Jesse opened them. <laughs> and then I think the last candy is these. Lifesaver gummies, which are my favorite. These berry ones are my favorite, so these are mama's. I'll be eating those. And then this was so funny. They sent me a bag of cereal marshmallows. <laughs> like in Lucky Charms or something. I don't, these aren't their Lucky Charms shape, but they're like, they're the marshmallow cereals. <laughs> so that's awesome. I love the marshmallow cereal, actually, with the little, like, stars and anchor shapes. Uh, brown things, whatever they are. <laughs> wheat thingies. So this is awesome. I could eat the cereal and then add more marshmallows to it so that's perfect <laughs> and then the last food thing is some tea they sent um three packs of apple and cranberry and one of blueberry honey blueberry and honey back in the box that's just my receipt from the post office <laughs> and then what else okay we'll do cups they sent me one of these starbucks mugs that is uh the been there series I was excited about this i don't drink coffee but i do drink tea and then i also drink hot chocolate so i can drink out of this but they sent me the uh the north carolina one oh, that's glary because the window's open but it's just the north carolina um collector's mug and yeah it's called across the globe collection i've seen other people get these um and i saw that like a lot of them are hard to find now i think the chicago one is like one of the ones that people are looking for but that's awesome. I get a lot of mugs from people as gifts. I think that's neat. I got some with mane on them and all that. It's just really cool. And I got another mug. And it's got the Irish, little Irish Mary. <laughs> and if you watch Becky, you'll know what this is. But, so I got a little one. <laughs> and then what else? Okay. They all sent me some Llama stickers. Can never have too many stickers. And a Llama notepad, which I already opened. It was in a wrapper. <laughs> And they sent Jesse, this was perfect actually, a um, Sesame Street themed like pre-K book with, you know, so you could trace letters and words and uh, I think it's got shapes in it too, which is perfect because we just started this week, me and him is doing at home pre-K. We decided not to send him to actual, you know, like, you know, uh, out of the home pre-K this year. We were going to, we actually we were in the process of signing him up for it, but then all the virus stuff. And um, I'm not so worried about us getting the virus anymore because of the, the statistics of it, you know. Even if we got it, I'm sure we'd be fine. But I'm worried about all the precautions, you know, because he's so little. You know, he's not the best at keeping his mask on or washing his hands because he's four. So I didn't want to just put him in a situation where he'd be stressed out having to be told by other people, wear your mask, put your, you know, wash your hands and all that. So I'm just going to do pre-K at home and then we'll worry about public school next fall when he's in kindergarten. But anyways... So this is awesome. We just, we actually bought a bunch of these little books recently. Well, actually two of them are huge. <laughs> I got a little happy because I love school supplies. So we bought two big books to learn from and then some of these little, little packet ones. And we also uh, subscribe to ABC Mouse and he loves doing that. We do the learning path and he loves the little games and all that and he's learning stuff. So it's awesome. It's a lot of fun too. So um, I think it'll be fun. I think we'll do good. But anyways, he'll love that. He'll do it. And uh I like watching him do it, and I can't wait to see him write his little name and all that. But the next thing that they got me is this is really cool. These are candles, Halloween candles. And they're uh, the regular stick candles. But you can see in them, they have blobs of color. And when you burn them, it'll drip the color down. So I think it's really cool. I have seen some of these before with just right in it to make it look like blood was dripping. Actually, Walmart just put some out that look like spines. But, um... This has got, it looks like uh, red, orange, maybe some yellow and purple. But it's going to be hard for me to burn these because I'm the kind of person that likes to keep stuff because I'm sentimental. But uh, I do want to burn them too. So I think I'll save them since it's Halloween season now. For sure, it's September. It's time to be spooky. Uh, I'm going to try to find some candle sticks that are kind of creepy looking, like gothic Victorian or something. 
and we could burn these when we're eating dinners, you know, and maybe around Halloween we can have a special Halloween themed dinner. I thought about making like mummy dogs where you take hot dogs and you wrap like um, bread dough around them to make them look like mummies. Um, doing stuff, stuff like that. <laughs> and we can have like a spooky candlelit Halloween dinner. <laughs> That's my plan. I told Devin because it has one of those uh, like Italian wine bottles. <laughs> I don't know what those are called. And I said, I need one of those just so I can put this candle in it and burn it. I'm super excited about these. Then the last things in the box. I'm not sure that because there wasn't a note in there, so I don't know if one of them made these. I'm assuming because we're all crocheters. I'm assuming one of them they did. <laughs> I just don't know which one. But they are towel toppers crocheted with buttons on them. And the little towels, they're like tea towels, the big ones. And uh, they got Halloween pictures on them, but they almost look like they were, they look like they were hand done. The, the pictures on them. So here's the first one. The towel's got a Frankenstein monster on it. And the towel topper is orange with a cat button. And it's like a, a multicolor orange with white. Really pretty. The next one is a little ghost. I'm trying to floof them. They need to be floofed because they've just been laying around. But it's got a cute little ghost with a purple topper and the cat on it. And then the next one, I think this is my favorite. It's just really cute. <laughs> it's got a cute little candy corn with the orange again and another cat. It's a different color cat. And then the fourth one has a purple spider with a purple topper and a green button. So those are super cute. I don't know which one made it. So definitely let me know which one of y'all did this because it's really cute. And I'd like to know. And then the last thing, this is really cool. I'm pretty sure it's the same yarn. It's just one of them is in a sock blank. And one of them is in a hank. But it's Lolo Did It, which I've always admired that yarn company. Uh, I follow them on Instagram and all that. And I see all their beautiful yarns. I've just never bought any. They have a, um, a Harley Davidson colorway that I really want to get. Because my father-in-law rides a motorcycle and has got all kinds of Harley Davidson stuff. I want to make him like a beanie to wear under his helmet. With that colorway, I just haven't done it. And plus, it, the yarn is so small. But this, I'm probably gonna make something for me with because it's beautiful. But it's Lola Did It Everyday Sock. It's 75% Superwash Merino, 25% Nylon. And the colorway is called Aurora Borealis. I can never say that right. But this is the Hank. So it's like a rainbow color, but it's like a pastel-y rainbow color. And there's orange in there. So that's the Hank of it. And then this is a sock blank. Ugh, if I can hold it up right. So it's a, uh, it's, it looks like the same yarn. I think it is. Or it's close to it at least. And it's knitted. I think this is called garter stitch. I'm not sure. I don't knit. But you, you unravel the end of it somehow. I've never done this before. So it's going to be a new thing for me. And you work your project from the sock blank. And you, it's basically like you're ripping this back. But you're making your other thing. And what the people who dye it do, they... I'm pretty sure, don't quote me, but I'm pretty sure they, they knit it first and then when it's laid out is when they dye it. Or sometimes they paint it. I've heard that they hand paint it, which I'm not sure what that means. But, uh, and then it's like a, kind of like a little scarf. <laughs> and then you pull from it and you make your project from it. So I think that's neat. So these are beautiful colors too. I think they're the same, but this one does look brighter. So I don't know, but they're both beautiful rainbow colors. <laughs> And I'm gonna use it to make something for myself because they're beautiful and they're soft and squishy. This is super squishy. That's one thing I love about knit is because it's so squishy and stretchy. But uh, I will never be a full blood, full fledged knitter. I will always be a crocheter. Even if I learn to knit and knit some things, I'll always be a crocheter. But that's the last thing that was in the box. Pretty sure that was everything other than the little toys that Jesse took with him. Uh, and maybe some candy if we might have ate some. But I think we just ate the suckers and some gummies. <laughs> but I do appreciate it so much. Um, again, it was Wendy, Carla, Becky, and Sandra. And um, I'm sorry I couldn't come. And I know you guys understand because I talked to Becky. And I'm assuming Becky told the rest of y'all <laughs> everything that was going on. So, uh, yeah. But I am so glad that you did still send me something and you didn't have to. But Jesse was super happy with his things, and he can't wait to get the mustaches. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, so I am appreciative, and I can't wait to use that yarn. It's so beautiful. <laughs> so thank you guys so much, and I guess that's everything for this video. I'll see you guys next video. Bye, guys.